So, human resources can be assets for a country as long as they are developed with the right inputs like education, training and good medical care. The development of human resources is called human capital formation. This adds to the productive power of a country. Let us listen to the story of Piyush and Uday to learn more about the value of human capital formation. Uday and Piyush live in the city of Mumbai. Uday's parents are educated. They ensure that Uday finishes his schooling and then graduates in a field of his choice. Uday graduates as a software engineer and gets a high-paying job. Uday's father encourages him to simultaneously enroll for an MBA course to boost his long-term career prospects. Now take the case of Piyush. His father is a carpenter, while his mother sells fish in the local market. They enroll Piyush in a government school. When Piyush turns 14, he meets with an accident, fracturing his leg. Unfortunately, due to negligent medical care, his leg is not set properly and has to be kept in a cast for almost six months. Piyush misses his final exam. Piyush's father forces him to leave school so that he can teach him carpentry. He feels that his son's education is useless and that Piyush should learn the family trade and contribute towards household expenses. However, he fails to give his son any formal training in carpentry. Ten years later, Uday is a manager in a software firm earning lakhs of rupees per annum. Piyush is an untrained carpenter working for a few thousand rupees per annum. Reflect on the difference that education and health care made to Uday and Piyush's lives. Educated people like Uday's parents invest in their children's education. So children like Uday can be assured of higher productivity, higher income, higher savings, and a better quality of life. Thus, a virtuous cycle is created. On the other hand, uneducated people like Piyush's parents neglect their children's education. So, children like Piyush have low productivity, low income, low savings, and poor quality of life. And a vicious cycle is created. Now, who do you think makes a higher contribution to society? Uday or Piyush? Yes, it's Uday. Society gains from educated people because they know how to efficiently use resources such as land, labor and capital leading to the economic development of the country. 
health also plays an important role in human capital development. Organizations are not likely to hire unhealthy people who might work inefficiently. They are more likely to hire healthy people who are productive and can realize their potential.